afternoon. Hello guys, my name is Fumelo and I will be doing um confidence interval for a mean of one sample. And then we'll be doing exercise 6.1 in our module. And the question reads as follows. A bank knows that the, the bank know, knows that its dim, its its deposit are distributed with a mean of 1125. So the thing I like to do first, I like to collect my data. So here first I collected the mean. And then they gave us and, and stated that the sigma, the standard deviation, it's 393. And then they stated that the sample, a random sample was selected of 100 deposits. So the first question says, compute the mean and variance of the sample. What is the distribution of the sample? Okay. So we know that in confidence interval, all our um, calculations are supposed to approve the CLT, which is... Um, the central limiting theorem, right? So here our n, it's the that um, the central limiting theorem states that our n is supposed to be greater or equal to 30. And then if it's greater or equal to 30, it will be x, n, and then we'll have the mu of a variation over n. So here our n is greater than 30. So we can say our, our x is normally, distribu is normally distributed with a mean of 1, 2, 2, and a variance. And remember, this is a standard deviation, and then here we have a variance, so we have to square this number. And then our n is 100. Sorry. <coughs> with your distribution, is that not supposed to be x bar? x bar, oh. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. And then um, the second question states that we have um, what is the probability that the sample mean will be greater than 1000? So this is for number two. So um, they say they want um, the probability that um, our x bar will be greater than 1000. So in order to do this calculation, we have to standardize our x to z. So we we'll write z it's supposed to be greater than we have um this will be the hundred thousand sorry minus our mu is one two two over n over sigma nine three over square root hundred. So basically this thing is um x bar minus um mu and then over sigma over n. This thing is it's still the same thing, it's just this part we square the thing. Okay? And then, um, can you please guys punch the calculator this part? Sorry. So this is another one. Yeah. It's one thousand. I can't see clearly the it's one thousand minus one one two two. It's one thousand minus one thousand one hundred ten twenty two. Over three hundred ninety three over root one hundred. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got negative three comma one zero four three. Three comma one, one zero. Negative three comma one zero zero four three three. Okay, so um, in our z table, we don't work with um, a z greater, we work with a z less than, and then we don't work with negative numbers. So we have to convert this to a positive number, and also supposed to be less than. And then um, to do this, um, you know, we said it's normally distributed, and then it's like we have a mean of let's pretend like it's zero, and then. This number it's here at the side. It's 3.104. And then we want this portion because we say it must be um it must be greater x. So we want this portion, right? So in this side it's less, this side is greater than this number. So we we will say um first we'll convert this this part the same as saying this number because it's symmetrical, it's still one or 
3.1043 and then we can say that um, it's our z less than this number yeah still the same thing so our p will be z less than 3.1043 so you can check your z table the answer Okay, guys, just look for 3.10 because yeah. I was a table was with two decimal. Correct. 0 0.99. 0 0.99. 0.9. Yeah. Okay. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. So, basically, that's our answer. Yeah. Oh, ah. <laughs>